Hello everybody, it's your boy, it smells like honor here. Welcome back to yet another episode of Five Nights at Freddy's Gary's Mod. And today we're going to go ahead and spotlight another ragdoll pack. Although this one, this is the one that's early access. And I think I'm going to spotlight another thing that Tara has uploaded to the workshop. So I'm pretty glad that he's uploading some stuff. Uh, although all of it may not be glitchy. So I don't want you guys to like go onto the page where you download the mod and then complain because it's not really perfect. So I kind of... I'll kind of explain on how it works. So, uh, my guess is that every ragdoll is based off of one of a, I think it's like, uh, not a command, but a, a, like a portion of this. So like a physical file. So I, th I think it's a physical file. I, I might be wrong, but it takes a file from like one ragdoll to the next. So that's why most of them are compatible with the five nights at Freddy's four NPCs is because, uh, the files are probably based on that compatibility. So, uh, sometimes it might just shut your game off because it's not it pro maybe it's not compatible with that model so um, The game will crash so you know, it doesn't break anything or cause uh, Well, I actually don't know what causes crashes per se. I don't know if the game says oh that can't happen So it shuts it off, you know, maybe it could even like I don't know make your computer lag or something I have no idea so uh, Anyhow here is the FNAF wall uh, Tara was saying that this is kind of glitched it's kind of funny. It reminds me of a floppy disk almost, but it's pretty cool because uh, I'm guessing that what people can probably do is, um, hmm, I guess this is a prop, right? Imagine this is a ragdoll. That would be pretty fun. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> dude, I sliced myself in half with that. That's crazy. Um, I was hoping for it to be an effect so you can just spawn it in a lot easier, but this is going to be pretty difficult on making a wall stand upright although if it's animatable oh wow okay it's not gonna it's not gonna do that wait there's different skins although i can't what the heck am i clicking on here i'm so confused all right i think if i make it animatable it stays there i'm pretty sure someone's gonna create their own fnaf like building with this but there needs to be more walls and uh you can't spray paint on it so that kind of is oofy but that's pretty cool how he added that in there. Uh, today, I'm going to go ahead and spotlight uh, this one. The I don't know how to pronounce that name. Is it uh, Damical? Is Damical? Damical? I don't know. The Unwithered Ragdoll. So, let's go ahead and take a spotlight from back to front. Ooh, this one looks really good. I like this. Now, uh, I don't know if Tara is watching this video. He might be. I don't know if he's only going to do FNAF stuff. I kind of want to see if he'll do like um, granny stuff. If there's granny. Oh, wait. I don't think there is granny on F SFM. If there's baldy stuff, maybe Bendy and the Ink Machine stuff. That would be pretty cool. Looks like he's doing uh, a nay nay from, you know, 30 years ago. <laughs> Old memes, by the way. I'm the dead memer. I, I revitalize them. Um, but yeah, that would be pretty cool to see some other stuff other than FNAF, you know? Some of the popular indie games do JoJo pose. That's a, I don't know if that's a JoJo pose. Uh, that's unrealistic right there. That's breaking bones. All right, time for the Golden Freddy. I'm really liking these models. They they're so different from the uh, the pill pack models. In my opinion, they might be actually kind of the same. Hmm. They have like a really sharp detail on their. Uh, I think it's called the bump map. Like look at look at that. That's pretty good. I like that. Here's Foxy. I'm surprised nothing's crashing my game so far. I'm, I'm kind of expecting that from now on, you know, just insta crash. I'm probably going to curse myself right now. And, um, oh my gosh, this withered Chexy, che oh wow, I said Chexy. Withered Chica's jaw is like so huge. What would be Chexy? Would it be Foxy and Chica fus fusion? Chexy. Okay. Okay. All right. So no crashes here. Looking good. I didn't know Bonnie had whiskers. That, that's pretty funny. This actually looks like the player model. All right, move your bum, Bonnie. You're in the way, Mr. Unwithered. All right, so here's the pack right here. It looks pretty cool. I kind of like the uh, the shadow. It's Shadow Freddy, right? Yeah, Unwithered Shadow Freddy. That's kind of a mouthful. All right, that's pretty cool. I like these poses. It looks like I just need to add like, oh, dude, someone should make an effect. So... Do you see how that's not an effect? That's an actual weapon. This, what the heck? It didn't even spawn in that. No, what the heck, dude? All right, this right here. The, oh, it, it did spawn in. I just couldn't see it. So this is an, an effect, right? 
I want to see someone spawn in an effect, but with the JoJo's menacing things, like the menacing symbols. <laughs> and then and then we can have like a, a ragdoll pose and then we can have like one, two, three, four, five menacing poses go up like that. So it looks like, you know, a JoJo pose. That would be fairly interesting. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is probably my favorite part of everything that we're doing with these ragdolls is make them into plushies. I kind of want to see what these guys will look like. Although, ooh, I wonder if this will crash the game. I'm going to go ahead and save this just in case so I don't have to go through it all again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dupe this guy like three times. Or, yeah, heck it, dude, three times. Now, we'll see if we bone merge. I think the only thing that crashes is that if we do this and then dupe this and then try to merge it with something else that's when the game usually crashes but um yeah, let's take a look right here let's do another, another one all right no crash sweet all right so i can go ahead and dupe these guys fair and square without any issues so boom boom i want two of each because i want to see them as the other npcs and maybe even give them their own customary um animations so what i, I also want to see here is the head just pretty much walk uh let's see there he is right there oh dude he actually looks really nice i like that that's pretty cool all right holy moly i i tend to spawn in way too many plushes and then it's just it's just a big mess and they all run into each other all right so dude i love these plushes i i love them you can make anything into a plush pretty much with these ragdolls they're, they're all compatible all right look at you and get you and get you and you my good sir who do we have left uh chica and bonnie so let's spawn in one more i kind of had two for the shadow freddy because he is my fave at the moment out of this ragdoll pack who is your favorite let me know down in the comments below what the heck did i click on the wrong i think i did what the okay that guy looks weird he looks pretty busted all right, wait, did I change my own pelvis? No, I didn't. I'm confusion, dude. I am. Why am I? I'm not. How come? Like, sometimes it says I'm clicking on my own face. Like, ha! What? I, I don't even know what's happening right here. Everyone's a big blob. Get out of the blobs. Get out of the blobs. Oh, my gosh. Chica looks like an absolute mess. That's, that's terrifying. It seems to be that I have to move left and right to get me to not click on my own body oh my god that's so annoying i just had that happen recently i don't know if i'm having player model issues or what all right foxy it's your turn bam bam all right they look pretty good except for bonnie bonnie's ears are a little scaled like they're scaled a little off now i another thing i don't like about these guys is that they tend to run into each other um so it's pretty funny let me know down in the comments below right now if you guys want to see a hashtag ragdoll maze run that would be pretty nice with the plushies uh i guess uh, a fact that you'll know is that when you lose is that they'll kick you in the face just like that that's pretty nice all right so we see them as the plushies it's pretty nice now time to see them as the chasing npcs although okay let's have them inactive because i don't want to kill over and die from them so we got a solid five here. We got a one, two, three, four, five, six. So the sixth one can probably be just another Freddy, probably. Right? Okay. So what we'll do here is go bada bing. Oh wait. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Bada boom. Bada bing. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a little offset and modeled, but it's all good because every FNAF 4 character is pretty much the same. Although it may not seem like it, but it really do be like that, though. All right, and then... Oh, we already have a shadow. Eh, we'll spawn him in, in with that. All right, so now, materialize... Oh, these guys... <laughs> okay, dude, they're a little glitched here. That's funny. Hold on, I totally... Ugh, I'm yawning! I totally forgot on how um I did the other portion... How did we do that? All right, here, we're gonna have another set of models too. I'm gonna disable thinking so I don't kill over and die. So we'll do FNAF one, right? And then how many was it? It was five of them. Heck, I, I gotta spawn them all in now because I forgot to dupe that. Too bad I couldn't do a group dupe, you know? 
Ooh, someone should make that a mod. Group dupe. It has a nice name to it. All right. You'd have to like highlight, select, and then like, like, okay. So what you would have to do is like highlight. So you highlight the selected models you want to do in the group dupe. And then you do all of them. And then you have the group dupe selected, like select, like say if I selected all six and then boom, I spawned them in all six spawn in automatically as they were selected. Pretty, pretty smart stuff there. All right. So I need probably two more Freddy's. Oops. Not there. I'm a dummy. Uh, boom, boom. And then now, uh, what we'll have to do here is let's get the twisted one animation. So they run on all fours. That would be fairly interesting. So, where is my dudes? Twisted, 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 twisted. Is it the twisted ones? No, it's just twisted ones. All right. And then now I go into animated props here. And then now, I know this is a lot of stuff, but it's going to work. Trust me. We model manipulate these guys because they are compatible. And the animations become overwritten. And then now, on top of all that, uh, as they run, they should run on all fours like the animal they are. So now we can go to bone merge and these guys should be somewhat compatible. Uh, they will stretch out to fit uh, the conformity of his bones. So they might look pretty derpy, way more derpy than the FNAF 4 ones, I assume. Oh wait, did I spawn in too many? Mm, I think I spawned in one too many, I believe. I guess we'll have two of those. Hack it, dude. Hack it, hack it, hack it. All right. Oh, I can't click her. Why? Oh, did I? I probably unselected him. I did. Okay, here we go. Bada boom. Bada bing. Also, let me know what you guys want to see from other ragdolls because we can give them other animations. Ooh, this is a nice little fusion touch with uh, Freddy and Twisted Wolf right there. Huh. Maybe we should do a spotlight like that on the fusions. They look really cool with, with these guys fused together. In fact, I'm down to do an episode with these guys, except for Chica. Haha, <laughs> Chica looks so weird with that fusion. They look really good, they do fit. But that's not what we're, what we're gonna spotlight today. We're spotlighting the ragdolls themselves, and I wanna see their animations uh, with this whole set. So we'll go into Material Tool. Now, as you can see, they fit the conformity of those bones, so they are extremely derpy. I need to click on all of you guys, so we don't have any mini plushies, but. That's okay. So let's slow down time again so I'm not lagging as bad. Uh, look at their eyeballs. They're, they're even like offset. It's pretty funny. He looks like a snail or he looks like he's going, Boy, what am I seeing at right now? Huh? That's not even proper English. Even you look really derpy. He's just like, Ehh. And your jaw is, it's always been broken. Oh my God. And he looks angry. Oh, dude, that, that, that that's pretty awesome. I don't know if that's thumbnail action worthy right there, but, um, <laughs> I don't want to spotlight that as the new ragdoll pack, but I just might have to do that. I just might have to do that. Okay. Who else should we grab right here? Who is incredible? Uh, I'd have to say Freddy's pretty hilarious in of itself. Uh, although he looks really short, he's probably not even going to fit that. Let's go ahead and have shadow. Uh, Freddy right there. Unwithered Shadow Freddy, might I add. And let's go ahead and do some of this thumbnail action right here, right now. Hashtag thumbnail action in the comments below. Um, you know, actually, I wonder if this will be good or not. I need to move Chica out of the picture. Get out of here, you laggy McLaggerson. Oh, God, she was almost about to run right there. Did you see that? That's pretty trippy. All right, that's some pretty good thumbnail action. Also, if you guys are new, be sure to spam hashtag new in the comments below. Uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, it is greatly appreciated. All right, so now we have all of them here. Let's go ahead and start with having the FNAF 4 stuff uh, go absolutely mad. Let's go 2020 mode. And we're about to lag to death, I think. So prepare to hold on to your butts. Oh, look at that. They're running on all fours. It is perfect. The nightmares are stupid, <laughs> so they tend to just run wherever they please. Now, oh, dude, that looks pretty incredible. I like that. I like that. I kind of want to try another thing as well. You know what's cool is that uh, Unwithered Bonnie looks absolutely angry running at us. It's pretty incredible. I like that. 
Although I know I am lagging because I spawned in multiple uh, chasing NPCs. Dude, it's just so cool how I overrid those uh, those animations with different ragdolls, you know? So it just goes to show, uh, I, I think given the fact, if you, if you give most of the, um, say if a new pill pack comes out, right? And the running animation is just absolutely legendary. <laughs> they're going to explode and I'm okay with that. Say if they're absolutely legendary, uh, you can go ahead and override that with any ragdoll that's compatible, which most of them are. Most of them are. How are you in the water? Aren't you supposed to explode? Oh, wait, no. I think that's Golden Freddy. I don't think he explodes. Okay, dude. What about you? Are you going to explode? Let's drop you in. Woo! <laughs> and this man right here is just not going to explode. Oh, what the heck? He just turned into a ghost. I am terrified. Unless he's right there. Hello? Nope, that is Foxy just taking a swim. Absolutely legendary. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode spotlight of this pack. It is early access, so I don't know if the link is out yet. Tara, if you can, message me that link so I can get it uh, into the video on time as soon as you upload this. Um, these ragdolls are really, really nice, so congratulations. It is absolutely perfect. No crashes there on my part. I like the wall that you added. Although, if it was an effect, I think you could place it a little bit better. Uh, I wish with effects, you can also spray paint on them, too. That'd be pretty cool. But that's going to go ahead and do it. Like I said, if you guys did enjoy, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. But till then, and always, have a great time. Okay, bye-bye.